I'll give you two minutes to finish. Right. Okay. Well, thanks very much. I just want to, first of all, congratulate all the people who were elected yesterday and commiserations to those who were not elected in the internal party elections. And I want to make the point that there was no elections yesterday involving women. The only contest of ideas and canvassing and in human engagement involved the men, including for the standing orders where it was a foregone conclusion that the two women would be elected. Women were co cocooned from contest with their fellow comrades, the men of this party, because of gender quotas and se segregated panels for men and women candidates. And I ask, is that equality for women and is that progress in relation to women's, women's participation? I'm one of the TDs. I, women to TDs to conclude, there, was, there was 30% of women TDs elected in 2007. We've 100% women MEPs. We've 30% women in many of our councils. And they were all elected without gender quotas on the basis of looking for votes. And we, we are a democratic party. Our record on equality for women is excellent. And we don't, do not need to be asked, as the Women's Council did yesterday, is quotas the end of men in politics. That's a patronising and condescending question to ask the members of this party and I support Brian trust the members. HQ is no wiser than we are in terms of selecting candidates. Go back to what Labour is about. Democracy and the traditional selection conventions that goes back to when Dick Spring proposed the Rock Street Amendment, one member one vote. Trust the members to make their own mind up about who to vote. We have a good record in relation to the selection of candidates. Thank you.